Welcome back everyone, my name is Token D Rock here with another video. In today's video we're going to be focused on Bitcoin and my expectations moving forward. Later we're going to be discussing some altcoins that I picked up as of late with the market crash slash market dip. At the end of the video we're going to look at some alts that you may or may not want to scoop up during this current market dip. Taking a look at the market, we've got Bitcoin oscillating between 42 and 43k right around the 43k mark We've got ethereum at 3300 about a grand down from its all-time high of around 4300 again some big seven day change movements on these binance coin or bnb it's just above 503 dollars pretty significant considering not too long ago at the all-time high it was around 685 Cardano's finally taking a breather. Polka dot under 40 bucks. You know my sentiment towards that. So I want to show you something. Bitcoin is the meat and potatoes of the cryptosphere. Yes or no? Look at this. In bear markets, Bitcoin's dominance is well over 50%. Look at this. Even back in 2013, it was in the 90%. That was like the first alt season or whatever altcoin season if you want to call it and then the first really really big one was back here in 2017 look at this bitcoin dominance went as low as 37 percent and it bounced look at that and then it it cooled off right at the end of the bull market bitcoin dominance started waning and then as people started waking up myself included realizing market's gone bull runs over bear markets here for the next few years bitcoin dominance start climbing up now we're in a very similar situation right here 38.7 percent but it could flip so any of you newer investors who are like oh my gosh i bought bitcoin above 50k it's lost over five to ten percent in value what do i do d rock do i sell it off no, hodl, what are you doing? You need to get in the habit of counter trading your emotions because there are always going to be people like Elon Musk. There are always going to be institutions that'll tell you time and time again, sell your crypto. The hammer's coming down, you know? Or, oh, this cryptocurrency uses too much electricity, it creates too much CO2 in the atmosphere, yada, yada, yada. It's all FUD. It is all FUD. It's been proven time and time again that a large portion of Bitcoin miners run on green energy or renewables. So this whole argument that, oh, Bitcoin is the worst thing for the environment since the automobile is a load of BS. I'm so sick and tired of it. And this is what they do. This is what they do. They put that idea in your head and then they keep saying it over and over and over again until you believe it to be true. And then you sell off your Bitcoin and you get wrecked. The market is largely reactionary. We all know that. I mean, back here you had Elon Musk talking about how Bitcoin is so bad for the environment. It's going to accelerate climate change. Um, Bitcoin won't be accepted by Tesla for products and services, stuff like that. And so the institutional players knew it was up and they took advantage of it. And right around here probably the retail investors started hearing about it and then this kind of happened because of that and also because there's just a stupid amount of people that leverage bitcoin for whatever reason between 45 and 55k i i have a strong feeling there was just a crap ton of leveraging being done and then that's why we've seen bitcoin go as low as it has because these whales by and large are trying to manipulate the market they're trying to get average investors like you and me to sell off the very little bitcoin that we own that way they can accumulate as much as they can while bitcoin is below 
60 70k whatever the figure is you know they want to accumulate as much as they can over on twitter elon musk got tweeted at by a user basically the user said a lot of people that hold bitcoin are going to be greatly disappointed when they uh release the tesla quarter two statement basically showing that maybe tesla did sell the bitcoin we have yet to find out I don't think they're gonna sell their Bitcoin. It just doesn't make sense to me. How can you be so smart like Elon Musk and invest over $1.5 billion into an asset that you did very little research on? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, so you're gonna buy an asset hodl it for a few months and then you're gonna come out and say oh this asset's no good but i'm still holding on to it for the time being he's holding on to it time will tell if tesla actually does sell their bitcoin but you got to think about it guys like the actions and the words aren't matching so take of it as a troll look at it, look at it as a buying opportunity buy the dip and just hodl that's what i'm doing with bitcoin I don't know. If you had your eyes peeled over this past weekend, there were some juicy alts for the scooping, and yours truly did some of that scooping. What did I buy exactly? It's all right here for your viewing pleasure. And we purchased some Ethereum around 37.50. We picked up 0 0.05. We like to pick up 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 Ethereum at a time. That's just how we do it. Same thing with BNB. Uh, we picked up some Cosmos around 23.50 and 24.25. Looking to sell those units somewhere between 29 and 32 dollars. That'll easily give us a solid like 25 to 40 percent gains. Looking at 25 percent, closer to like 29 dollars if you sell it there, and then looking at 40 percent if you sell it closer to 32. Picked up some DOT for under 39 bucks great steel in my opinion i've said it once i'll say it twice probably say it a hundred times poke it out under 40 bucks is a bargain it was like 50 bucks the other day you write it up from this price easy 25 30 percent gains if not more picked up some more cosmos this time under 23 bucks bargain bought some looking to sell that between 28 and 30 dollars and then Picked up some B&B, &B, picked up 0.2, that only cost me $104, this is a great price, in my opinion, because B&B &B was like almost $700 not too long ago. Uniswap, posted this on my Facebook group, along with this Adam trade, if, it, if Adam broke under 23 bucks, if Uniswap broke under 35, I said I was gonna buy, followed through, picked up just below 34 bucks looking to sell those unis for between 40 and 42 dollars v chain picked up some for 16 cents looking to sell that off between 19.5 and 21 cents picked up some more ethereum picked up some more cosmos because it dipped further this is pretty close to the bottom or the most recent bottom so i picked up some more of that Looking to sell that between $27 and $29 a pop. I picked up more BNB, &B, this time a good $17 cheaper. I picked up 0.1 this time as opposed to 0.2 last time. Picked up some Bitcoin. Again, huge buying opportunity with Bitcoin as it sits below 45 k at this exact point in time, but I scooped it around 45 8 Again, not looking to sell my Bitcoin or Ethereum long term, so I don't have price to sell. BNB, I don't have a game plan. Same thing with Cardano. V Chain, looking to sell around 18 to 20 cents after buying at around 15.3. And then I picked up some more Cosmos around 21.38. Looking to sell that between 27 and 29 dollars. So ADA. And BNB, &B, I have no idea what I'm doing with them because BNB &B, last time I was trading it, I sold way too early and then I was just 
waiting for an opportunity to buy back in. It never really came. I had to shell out a good amount more than what I had profited. So uh, there's that. When BNB moves, it moves. Um, Cardano, I'm still like deciding whether I want it to be a long-term play or not. I guess we got to see how these smart contracts roll out in the next few months. If if it's big, which I think it's going to be, um, I, I might just keep these units in for the long haul, but we'll, we'll see. BNB, I'm probably going to hold kind of like um, Ethereum and Bitcoin, just buy and hodl. And then maybe like cash out towards the end of the year or something with BNB, but... Bitcoin, Ethereum, long-term holds for sure. Now we're gonna be looking at some alts that you may or may not wanna purchase during this dip. Typically, what I like to do is I look, I like to look at the cryptocurrencies that are down the most in the past week out of the top 100 and then invest from there. So right here, BNB is looking pretty juicy. It's almost down 25% on the weekly. This is down like pretty much 180 bucks from its all-time high so you do the math you're looking at over 30 percent gains on bnb if you scoop that right now v chain had an all-time high of around 27 28 cents so some juicy gains right there to be had bat it's all-time high i believe was around like buck 50 a buck 60 so some juicy gains right there as well Engine coin, that's another position you may want to hop into. I'm under two bucks is a steal in my opinion. Uh, if you're into NFTs, engine may be a good scoop. ETH, I can't lie. I mean, ETH under 3,500 is a bargain. Cosmos, like on the Facebook group, under 23, 24 bucks is a is bargain. Link, chain link. That's 30% gains if you buy right now. You write it to the all-time high, it's 30% gains. Do the math. It's crazy. That's another good buy. You might want to scoop up some polka dot. It's not down a crazy amount for the weekly, but like I said, you write it to that all-time high. You can make some juicy gains. Cardano's finally cooling off, like I said earlier. You can scoop it for just under two dollars right now it's a pretty good time to buy in my opinion probably scoop some more cardano later today that about does it for today's video everyone if you enjoyed it and learned something new please show us some support by liking the video and subscribing to our channel we've got our 500 to 5k challenge that's coming along very nicely we're locking in those juicy gains it's happening so stay tuned. We've got some links down below for you to check out. BlockFi and Celsius allows you to earn some passive income on your hodling crypto. Binance US, get trading today over on that platform. We've got CoinStats and CoinMarketCal to keep you up to date with crypto prices and crypto events. And we've got a Facebook group for callouts. Until next time, everyone, I hope all of you have a wonderful day. My name's Token DRock. Peace.